Hi guys. Nej. Jag skulle säga ett namn på en sekund. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. In today's episode, it's all about food and cooking outside. And we're here together with Light My Fire and Nordic Stretch Tents. And also, we have a super cool chef. Let me introduce you. This is Victor. Hi. Tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is uh, Victor. I'm a chef and a sustainability consultant. And today I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about uh, cooking outside. He's being way too modest and a bit Swedish. But I will give you the details. Victor has spent his last 17 years within the food industry. He's been doing everything from fine dining, production, sales, education and events. In the last three years, he's been working mostly as a consultant within sustainability and development in the food sector. So yeah, he knows his stuff. And back to the video. And we're gonna use some real nice ingredients and uh, a lot of love in the cooking. Awesome. I love the sound of that. All right, let's do it. So now I'm preparing the fire. The first rule is always to have a base. Then I have one going across to create sort of a ledge to stack some smaller pieces on. I usually tend to make some feather sticks and one of the most important rules is always to put new materials on top of the fire when the flames are over the existing uh, uh, wood. Awesome! Uh, I'm now divided. The, the fire once it's burned down a bit because some things you can cook over fire but most of the things that you cook outside is cooked over or in embers so I've divided the burning logs to one side and the embers to the other side I've also ahead of time boiled some potatoes we're gonna make it super delicious uh, salad which is based with potatoes, leeks and onions and buckwheat and a few more delicious ingredients. And I'm gonna show you how. So while these are cooking in the embers, I'm gonna roast the buckwheat. And that I do over the open flame. Let the heat come up a little bit. Add a little bit of butter and let the butter just melt out a little bit before I add the whole buckwheats. It will take about five to ten minutes to roast and the main thing to keep in mind is always keeping them moving. And to know when the buckwheat is ready you start getting these little beautiful brown golden tones in it. And at this point you want to take it off the flame and just leave it to rest a bit. Keep stirring once in a while And you see the charring on it? That is what we want. We want the outside shell to char and the inside to cook. And onions for this size will take anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes to cook. So we have grilled onions, we prepared a potato and we have fried buckwheat. Exactly. So what's the next step? The next step is to uh, take the charred vegetables out of the fire. Guys, if you could smell this, it smells awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. And if you just touch this a little bit, you feel that it's a little bit soft. Yeah. That means that it's perfectly cooked. And the next step now is uh, that I'm gonna prepare the, the kale. Yeah. And then we're gonna brown some butter and yeah. infuse that with sage. Cool. And that's gonna be the, the taste maker, basically. Yeah. A little bit of the sauce. So to speak. Nice. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I started preparing the kale. I just rubbed it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, salt and some fresh cheese to break the rawness of it. And the next step for me is to clean these. And it's simple by just breaking off the shells. Sometimes you can just squeeze it and you get this pearl. And the same thing goes for the leeks. You just start by peeling off 
the layers that are burnt. Absolutely okay to keep a little bit of the burnt part. They add flavor and they also add a little bit of texture. And the next step that I'm gonna do now to finish the dish is to brown some butter over the open flame and infuse that with some sage. the second course of today and now we're gonna use something that a lot of you guys maybe recognize a bit more uh, camping kitchen so Victor what are we making we are making a uh, risotto so the risotto is made out of the uh, dried vegetables and oats so uh, when you dried vegetables uh, can you do it in a normal oven or how do you do it yep you can definitely do it in a normal oven you can also use a drying rack as well and uh, there are some different ways, but I prefer using the oven actually. Just awesome. putting out the lowest temperature, putting it in there for a couple of hours until it's thoroughly dry. And then you can store it for a long time. Nice. And uh, as you have seen through this whole video uh, on my hair, it's a bit windy today. So we're going to take the kitchen and we're going to go behind the tent to get a little bit more less wind and uh, make a delicious meal. So now we found a good spot here where it's a little bit less wind. Uh, when you're using this kind of a setup and gas stove, you can either use a small windshield or just try to find some natural wind shelter. And what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm just gonna boil some water, quite simply, and then I'm gonna add this to the dry mixture, put the lid on, let it sit for a while, and then I'm gonna to top it off with some Parmigiano and some uh, nice olive oil. getting a rolling boil so I can turn it off the heat and now it's just simply add the water to the mixture and stir it a bit just to dissolve any salts and uh, spices and then we'll put the lid on to conserve the heat And we'll just leave that for a few minutes and then we'll have a beautiful dish ready. It's been uh, standing here in the bottle for about three, four minutes just to let the moisture suck into the vegetables and the rice. And just to finish it off now, I'm gonna add a little bit of dried Parmigiano. And to get some more nutrients and energy, I always keep a small bottle of some really nice olive oil. And that's it. There you have a simple, nutritious meal that's quick to make and uh, easy to store as well. So Victor, we are at the last course of the day. It's gonna be a very simple one. This is something that you can prepare at home. 
and bring outside. Yeah. So what are we eating? We're uh, eating bread, actually. So in Sweden we call it pinbrad. And today we're going to try something new and try to grill it in a small griddle as well. And, and if you, can... you directly translate that, it's uh, stick bread. Stick bread, exactly. You can prepare it at home. Basically just flour mixture with some different spices. So here we have uh, wheat and we have some baking powder. We have uh, cardamom and cinnamon and a little bit of salt. And what I did today was actually prepare the whole thing at home and prepare the dough. Nice. So we're gonna do it on a stick and also on this, 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 this. What do you call this? Fire grill. Fire. So we're both gonna do it on a stick, uh, but also on a fire grill, this small one. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. I took a piece of the dough and I just flattened it out and put it inside the griddle and put a little bit of oil on the griddle just to make the bread not stick too much. And now I'm basically just slowly baking it, have some patience and uh, you will be rewarded. So here we have the finished bread and I'm just uh, enjoying this freshly baked with some strawberry jam and nice company. So that was that. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. So we tried to give you three different courses for three different occasions. The first one where you cook at one place over a bigger fire, maybe a dinner for the night. And then we also made a simpler dish that's uh, pre-made at home, dried, and that's uh, easy for the trails and uh, easy for the small camp stove. And we finished with a really nice uh, stick bread yeah. and uh, snacks, so to speak. It. And uh, I think, or I would recommend quite highly to do some stick, stick bread together with some nice people and around a fire in a beautiful evening. Yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, it would really help us out if you liked this video and also subscribe to our channel because we're gonna make a lot more videos like this uh, and hopefully we'll have uh, Victor on board for another video. Yeah, yeah. I would enjoy that. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.